are watching us live STEMI India 2018 from Lucknow. Cardiologist par excellence, Dynamic Gugadru. It's my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Rishi Sethi with us. Good morning, Hiru. Good morning, sir. So you have been instrumental in a team for making a systematic and uniform approach for the management of STEMI care patients. Mm. So what what is your motivation to bring the systematic protocol-based approach model to bring into the northern India? So, as we speak, ST elevation myocardial infarction uh, or STEMI as we call it or heart attack as we know in common language is killing more people globally and in our part of the region than any other disease. WHO statistics are that as we are speaking and going forward in 2020 and 2025 Overall mortality from cardiovascular diseases, specifically myocardial infarction, would contribute to around 25% of all global mortality. So one out of four people across the world will die of diseases related to coronary artery disease and specifically myocardial infarction is the most common killer here. So globally speaking, the standard of care in the developed world is opening up of coronary arteries during myocardial infarction by primary angioplasty. Having worked overseas, I saw it happening day in and day out and how precious lives were saved by primary angioplasty. The problem with our part of the world is that firstly we have a bigger problem at hand. We have, we have more incidence of this disease. The disease is occurring in a younger population. It is more complex in nature and our overall mortality is higher both in terms of our genetic maker and our response to treatment as well as the inavailability of standard care to vast majority of our population. If we try to bring the western model to our country and our systems and our geographical areas of our working, they will not work because of the distance, economic constraints, inavailability of cath lab, primary angioplasty cannot be made available to a vast majority of our population and that's a goal that we should not set for ourselves. So we should get some systems and develop some systems that work best in our own environment and I, that context I believe that STEMI India model is something that has been shown to uh, work in um, some states of our country. It's already existing and running model and if we can just tweak that same model to suit you know, our state and the northern part of the countries in which you have a combination of primary angioplasty where it is available, thrombolysis plane where it is available and combining both the two um, in a pharmacoinvasive approach and try to develop a system that every patient irrespective of the fact which place he is in gets the standard of care at least what is available in that setup and then can be transferred to a place within 24 hours to get him the best of international class um, of STEMI care and that system has been shown to reduce uh, mortality, it has been shown to be more economically viable and if we can implement the same system in the rest of the country and we can and, and why to just talk about our own country, there's a large part of the population of global population residing in third world countries, if you can just implement the same program in places uh, where primary angioplasty is not widely available for whatever reasons, economic or, or functional or, uh, or inavailability of trained manpower, I think this system will work well. And just because this is the single largest killer, even a small dent in mortality would result in much higher numbers of lives saved and uh, in our regions lives which are young, precious, economically and socially viable. So I believe it's a calling that, uh, that has motivated me to take this step. Thank you so much for sharing your views. On Thank this. you so much.